Hello guys, welcome to another episode. So today we have this sexy looking marine. As you can see I've mostly done and in classic painting tutorial style I've left a leg. Um, so what we're aiming for, as you can see, is kind of like the blue-green fade that you see in say things like Alpha Legion or maybe even your own custom chapter. And I want to show you how easy it is to get the blend from one colour to another. Um, you can see I've also blocked in some of the other colours like the metals and such. They're not finished, but hey, I had a bit of uh, playing around with the base after seeing a Squidmar video where he did something weird, just painted the base as opposed to applying texture. So yeah, today's colours. Our shadows are going to be Winton's Dioxazine Purple. Our dark blue is Winton Cobalt Blue Hue. Our mid blue is Abtalung Blue Green, which leads us in our, to our highlight, which is our permanent green light from Winton again. Then our highest highlight is Atalong's buff and then for other random bits and pieces we've got classic bitter me by Atalong. So we've got two brushes, nothing fancy, just a zero from Atalong, normal point and the four like filbert brush. Okay so let's get on with the leg. So first thing we're going to grab our cobalt blue and aim for the so if we do the back of the leg so we want to aim for in the shadows so obviously cylinder so the central columns the light bit and so, got my classic just some oils on a bit of cardboard with parchment paper nothing fancy I'm gonna take this to about say about 50% of the leg to start with maybe a bit over maybe 60% and then just wiping it off on there grab our blue green next to it filling in the rest so actually because that's a upper edge I'm gonna quickly chuck that on there And grab my green, wipe that down the middle. Now I'm going to fill in that bit in there as well. You can use the filbert brush to get the rest. So just wiping that off on there again. So I've not got any spirits out at the moment either. So then grabbing a filbert brush. Just bringing it in from the green into the blue, to the blue green. Wipe a bit off. Go around the other side. Same again. Let's get some of the excess oil off as well when you do this initial. And then we'll just bring it down. Because it's our mid colour, we kind of want to blend it into both sides. The blue green, that is. And just drop that around there. There we are, so we've got our initial blend starting to flow together. It's just moving it around a bit. Now, looking at that, I want to get a bit of buff. Not too much. Just gently down the middle. Then We can start seeing that's matching the other side. Oh, that's going to bring it back into focus. So now, now we want to grab our purple. And purple is going into our deepest shadows, just for that extra depth to them. also acts as kind of like the line to break up the elements so, 
there. Now, this is where I grab my spirits. What I want to do is just thin some of the purple out quite thin. Just knock everything. So it's quite watery. A bit more than that. So when you see it now, you can see it running. So I might even add it a bit, bit thinner. Because oils, when they're thin, have an even better capillary action than, say, like GW's washes. So I just want to drop that, just dot it in. A bit more than that, I reckon we can get away with. Then using the same thing, aim for that line. Don't worry, it's not particularly neat. Clean our brush off. And we can just work on picking it up. Anyway, we don't like the blend. Always go back in and fix. So, get my green back in a bit. Just blend that back in, get some blue green. any blends we've lost back out. And very gently we apply that back in. Oh we missed a bit here. Just weird little tabs on the armor. There we are. Kind of see our blend coming in, in there now. We've got our blue green effect going through. Nice and easy. And then our final step. Change for a better brush. Rosemary and Co's size one. We'll get some of this bit of me to be like. Line, line, couple of dots. And then we grab our buff. those lines on the bottom of the dots apply like an imaginary edge highlight adds in some scratches and damaging so I think you can see it better on the shoulder pad which is a bit more dry So obviously the problem with trying to record oils on a not the best equipment in the world is it's very shiny. Uh, one day, one day I'll be able to afford a better camera. So there we are. It's that simple to get that sort of fade. But now you can go in with the buff and kind of wipe most of it off just very gently Catch the edges with the side. Kind of give you a edge highlighting effect if you wanted to. I suppose you can see it on the arm here. Just kind of start to do that. Just very subtly affect it. 
yeah there we are and you just carry on doing that around the model if you're interested in the rest uh, this is currently just this is bit of me the black was uh scale 75s the black the silver i mean is scale 75s uh black metal with contrast black temple over it and then very lightly dry brush thrash metal <laughs> that wasn't the main focus i just wanted to get those colors blocked in there we are hope you find that vaguely interesting and useful what i'll do is i'll finish up this and put a photo of it on the end i am um, hope you enjoy that if you've got any ideas of what you'd like to see in the future drop them in the comments below um, i'll be happy to do any sort of subject you're after on with oils thank you very much see you again guys <laughs>